YouTube, I'm Adrian the Barber. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a high bald fade, and I'll be sitting here watching the video with you, giving you step-by-step -step instructions. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, to start this out, as always, we're gonna prep the hair, brush it down, comb it. Um, let's find the direction that the hair grows so we know um, which way to proceed with the haircut. As you can see, going in, brushing it all down, getting it all ready, prepping my surface. So I'm gonna take my um, wall detailers to start out with, and I'm just gonna make my guideline. You can see I'm making a hard guideline. I turn my clippers around, and I'm just gonna start balding the client. I start from that uh, the, the end of the point, and I just work my way back. Kind of making a line that goes uh, vertical, sort of like a, like a slope, going up towards the crown of the head. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and turn my clippers around, bald it out. Now with this particular client, I can't use a screen shaver on him because he'll, he'll break out and get razor bumps. So instead of using the screen shaver, all I'm gonna do is just turn my clippers around. I wanna try to get the, um, the skin, and get the hair down uh, as bald as possible, you know, without having to use a screen shaver. So you can see how I turn my clippers around. This is gonna let me go down like a whole nother level. Um, another thing I do is sometimes I use my T outliners. My T outliners cut a lot closer than the detailers do. And so a lot of times I'll do this with the detailers and then I'll go back with my T outliners and just, just go over uh, one more time to try to get it um, as bald as possible. And I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. See how my line is kind of going up like a slope. Again, towards the crown of the head, starting at the point, working my way up. And then same thing, just going through, balding out, getting, getting it as bald as possible. Now don't move on from this step until you completely finish it. Make sure you get, um, this, get it down to the skin, get it as clean as you possibly can before you move on in, into any fading. Um, a lot of this when I started out was a lot of prep work uh, because we want to get the hair right you know, before we start the fading process. So I got my 1-8 blade now, and I'm just gonna cut the hair with the grain and get a nice, even surface. This is like step two of, of the prep work of the fading. So I got my, I got the uh, hair on the side down as close as possible to the skin without using a screen shaver. Um, if you can, it's always, it's always great to use a screen shaver because you're always gonna get even a, an even cleaner cut. And now my 1-8 again, just with the grain of the hair. Getting it, getting it as smooth as I possibly can. And now in the back, you see he has the cowlicks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move up and I'm gonna take a, a higher blade or a higher guard. And for instance, here I got my number two. And it, this is all gonna be faded out. So I'm not really too concerned with cutting it with the grain or against the grain. So I'm just gonna cut it against the grain because I wanna, like I said, I wanna get a nice even surface all the way around. And so, went ahead, knocked that calico out against the grain, so it's not gonna take it any lower than that 180 that I have on top. And right here, I have my, uh, these are not Fade Masters, don't uh, pay attention to the plate on the front of the clipper. These are just regular Andes Masters. And I got a zero um, guard on there, and I got it about halfway open. I slowly work it close. What I'm doing is just trimming down the hairline. So this is just getting it ready so I can get a, a super clean hairline, which you'll see at the end of the video. Again, this is just prep work before I get into the lining process or get into the fading process or anything. And so my zero, I have it all the way, almost all the way closed now. And I'm just working that line, just getting that hair to lay down so we can get a nice smooth uh, line up. Now I'm gonna take my number zero guard. Now I'm gonna start the fading process. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna make a, almost like a second guideline, basically creating like another weight line. Again, you're just gonna do this all the way around the head. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna do half of this, and then you're, you're gonna see the whole haircut, but I'm gonna do this half, then I'm gonna work on the back of the haircut, then I'm gonna go over to the to the right side. You'll see when I get to the right side, I have a, a way smaller part to, uh, to finish off. And so, after I make that initial, that second, that second guideline, that weight line, I'm gonna just move that zero guard up and just work my way up into the top of the head. So you see, I'm just feathering the hair. I'm really light-handed with my clippers. All wrist action, not using, not using your whole arm going in. You're not, not cutting like this, I'm just cutting like this. 
And then again, once I'm done with the halfway mark, I'm going to move it, open up the lever all the way, and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start blending it into the top. Now, you're not going to be able to exactly blend it into the top. I mean, with his hair, I'm not exactly uh, able to blend it into the top just using the zero. So I'm going to work my way up into a one. Um, what I'm about to get in here into this next scene, you'll see me uh, finish it off with a one going into the top. We're just trying to get as clean as a transition as we possibly can. Imagine that the, the guard is an eraser and the line is a line you drew with the pencil and you want to erase that line as best as you possibly can so you can't see it anymore. Now here I'm going to take my number one guard and I'm just going to finish off um, that weight line. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to close them all the way with my masters and I'm just going to do the same exact technique I just did where I start with them closed and work them all the way open. Um, just blending that hair into the top. So again on top I have a 1A blade with the grain and now I'm finishing off with a one guard and like I said when I finish it I'll have it all the way open um, going against the grain. Just getting a nice smooth transition into the top of the head. You see I got them almost all the way open now. And again don't move on from this step until you're completely done blending that hair out. Now after I'm done blending that, those weight lines in, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the guard off, I'm gonna close my masters all the way. And if you're using detachable blades, this is, uh, this is the same as a 3-0 blade or, or a 3 out, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna start to knock out that bottom guy line, the initial guy line I made. And that is, that's a, it's a hard guy line to get out sometimes. If you don't have your masters zero gap or your seniors, whatever you use in zero gap, you're probably not gonna be able to get it all the way blended out. So what you'll do, is I made that line with the detailer. So I'm gonna take my detailer again and I'll go back in, you'll see it here soon. And I'm just gonna knock that out just really, really light-handed. And again, same exact technique with my masters. Um, I started with them all the way closed. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna slowly open them up as I move up. So I'm gonna go about halfway right now and continue to blend out that, that extra weight that I created now. What we want to do with this line is we want to blend this line into that level that we just um, blended out. Again, appreciate everybody tuning in to the Hair Heroes podcast on Tuesday nights. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you get over and check it out every Tuesday night, 8.30 uh, Central Standard Time. Now here we go. I got my masters all the way open, no guard which is equal to a one blade. So if you're not familiar, uh, go back and watch my last video I did with guards and blades. And that will give you all the di different dimensions, you know, um, what guards are compared to blades. And now it's just really a lot of cleanup work. So I'm gonna use my mirror and I'm gonna just kind of go back and forth, uh, looking in the mirror, finding any spots that, you know, I may have missed. And I'm just kind of playing with the lever and you know, just blend it out any, any dark spots I see. Again, we wanna make that transition as smooth as possible. Like I said earlier, see how I take my detailers, being really, really light-handed because I don't wanna create another line and just knocking out any, any of that um, initial guideline I still have left in there. And so just take your time, super light-handed, don't press at all because it's easy to, to put another line in there. And you're just gonna stay just right on that bottom guideline, not raising anything up. We just want to knock out any any faint uh, any of that line that's still there. See, I got a little cleanup work I can do up front, so I'm just going to open up my masters all the way. Again, equal to a number one, and just blend that out. Again, with your masters, um, the masters all the way closed are equal to a three zero blade. So if we're talking about blades, not guards, um, the masters all the way closed equal to a three zero blade. Halfway open is equal to an OA blade, and all the way open is equal to a one. So that's that's a, a good rule to, to go by when you're cutting and you're switching between detachable blades and adjustable clippers. Now on the back, I'm using the same technique. And you see his hair grows in all different directions. So what I'm trying to do is just find a direction of his hair growth and go against it. 
Just like I said in the beginning, when we're brushing the hair, we're combing the hair to get started, we're trying to find the direction the hair grows so we know what path we need to take to, to get a clean blend. Um, I like to tell people that's a, that's a super important step because you don't want to just jump into cutting hair and not know which way the hair grows. It only takes a couple seconds just to brush it down, see what's going on. And so, you know, again, super important. Same techniques, masters all the way closed. I used my zero, worked my zero, and then I switched to my one blade or one guard, worked my one guard, just getting a smooth transition into the top. Again, going, you know, against the grain of the hair. So to get that to get that good transition, you gotta go against the grain of the hair. And here I'm just kind of playing with the lever, halfway up right now, and just kind of trying to find my find my level that I need to blend out certain spots. Like I said, the back can get really tricky. A lot of people have trouble with the back. The sides are easier just because they're, they're flat. And then you get to the back and you got this round surface you're trying to fade. And it can be complicated if you don't know what you're doing. So again, like I said, I'm just, a lot of it's, a lot of it I know already just because I cut so much hair so I know where I need to be with certain lengths. Um, with new barbers, I'd say open that lever up all the way and play it safe. You can always start long and go short because you can always take the hair shorter. Once you go too short, then you got yourself in a position where you can't go back. And now you see how I worked my way, uh, worked my way around the head. Started with the left side, I blend out the back. Now I get to the right side. I only got this small piece need left to fade now. And so I go in again, same techniques. Got my zero guard all the way closed, making that second guide. And it's a really soft line I'm blending out halfway. Continuing just to knock it out and I'm open it all the way and then I'll move on to my one and blend that hair into the top of the haircut Again, I got a 1a blade against the grain of the hair And then I'll be finishing it off with a one guard going against the grain of the hair And these are these are tricky spots to uh, to blend like I said You got to make sure you know which way the hair grows on the right side It might grow a different direction than what it does on the left side don't just cut it one way thinking it grew the same way on both sides because uh, most people it's, that's not the salute that's not the it's not the way their hair grows so I got my one guard now and you can see just a little bit little amount of weight I have left on top and I'm just gonna work that out again I'm really really light-handed with my clippers like uh, I don't press I don't have a lot of pressure it's really light-handed, feather in the hair, trying to get a nice, soft, smooth transition. Again, finding direction the hair grows, going against it. You can see on the right side, it grows a little bit different than it did on the left side. And so that means I got to take a different approach when blending that so I can get the same effects on both sides. Masters all the way closed. Again, equal to your 3-0 blade. Blending out that bottom line, halfway open. If you guys got any questions, just hit me up, man. Leave me a message. Um, you know, I'm happy to answer any question you guys have. I try to I try to break down barbering and make it as simple as possible because when this is something you're jumping into, if you don't know a lot of the terms, a lot of the lingo that's used in the shop, um, then you know it can be complicated. It can be intimidating for some people. And so, like I said, man, my channel is all about making barbering as easy as possible, teaching you guys the, the, the best ways to go about fading. And I'll show you other ways as well. Um, I, have, I have a few different ways I like to fade, so I'm going to definitely show you guys all the different ways. And again, right here, I'm just kind of playing around with the lever, trying to find, you know, what length is going to take out what certain, certain spot. Um, back on my detailers again, just hitting any, you know, any of that line, any, any of that line that's faintly left there, just going in and knocking it out. And again, for this process, use your mirror, like your mirror, I've said it in probably every haircut tutorial I've done, your mirror is going to tell you exactly what you need to do to fix the haircut. Any spots you see, you know, you'll see it in the mirror and you'll be able to go in and fix it. So there, that's the final final product with the fading. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get into the lineup of the haircut. First thing I'm gonna do is take some rubbing alcohol. I like to dry out the skin. Um, 
it just helps you get a, a crispier hairline when you when you go about this process. So I just take a, a neck strip, spray some alcohol on it, just rub it down on the hairline. Now hair always cuts the best when it's just washed. You know, the, the cleaner the hair, the better it's gonna cut. Now I'm taking my blow dryer. I'm just gonna dry it. I just want the hair to be, I obviously want it to be dry to the touch. Um, you always get the best line up when the hair is completely dry. I'm gonna use my detailers. I'm actually gonna finish this line up with my T-outline because my detailers start acting funny um, <laughs> after, after I was shooting this part. So again, trying to stay on the natural hairline as best as possible. Um, while at the same time trying to get a nice even, even lineup. You see, I'm just doing a lot of tapping and pulling away. Again, just pay attention to the technique. You see how I'm moving. I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm being real soft with the, with the trimmers. When you ever trim those zero gaps, it's super easy to cut people. You don't want to be sitting there putting a whole bunch of pressure, you know, think you're going to be doing something. Just let the clippers work for you. Like the clippers, if you got your clippers adjusted right, they're gonna do everything you need them to do. You see, tapping and pulling away. Again, using your mirror on the, on the lineup is a great way to keep the lineup even. Um, it can be intimidating sometimes when you just start a lineup and all of a sudden you turn your client in the mirror, it may not be even, you don't want them questioning you or wondering if you don't know what you're doing, but that's gonna be probably the best way to help you find out, you know, if the line's straight or not, and then you can go back and you can kind of make the adjustments you need. So that was just the final product I just shown um, with the natural um, haircut and lineup. Now I'm just gonna take some topic and just throw a little topic on here. Um, I like using topic just because it's quick, it's not dirty. Um, like I said, it only takes like 30 seconds to apply a topic to somebody's hair. It's a good way, it's, it's a good enhancement, especially like just for picture purposes and things like that. I wouldn't recommend it, you know, for long term. Topic's like a one day type of thing um, when it comes to enhancements. If you're looking for an enhancement that you can wear for a longer amount of time or, you know, um, go with like Kiss Express or, or something like that. Like I said, I try to stay away from Beijing. I cannot stand Beijing. It's such a mess. <laughs> but yeah, topic is, topic, topic is a good way to finish off your haircuts. And you see, I, all I'm doing is just, I already made the hairline. So once you, once you apply an enhancement, you don't have to go back and really redo the hairline. All you're doing is kind of tracing over the hairline just to clean stuff up. You're not like, what I'm doing here is mostly like removing any excess topic that's on his forehead. And so um, you, don't, you don't have to go in and try to recreate a hairline. I see a lot of people, they'll put the enhancement on and then all of a sudden when the client goes to wash it out, they push their hairline back because they were trying to do too much once they enhanced it already. And so enhancements can be tricky. You gotta make sure that, you know, you know exactly what you're cutting. So this is the final haircut. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, this is my agent, the barber. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for the next haircut tutorial. I appreciate you guys tuning in to another Asian the Barber haircut tutorial. If you guys got any questions, make sure you hit me up in the messages or somewhere on my social media. All my information is down in the description. And again, tune in every Tuesday for a Hair Heroes Live video cast, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time.